Welcome to the Tear Suppression video, where we teach you how to make your troops take zero damage from your opponents to really anger them. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> Why do I suck so bad at intros? Okay, three, two. Greetings, Commanders! Welcome to the Tear Suppression video. Today we're going to be talking about the tear suppression mechanic, which can be found on items. And if used correctly, you can essentially take zero damage from your opponent's lower tier troops. This is a relatively new mechanic. You can get it on two sets of items. You can get it on the Libra gem set and the Black Knight chess piece, as well as the Arc Hall. So three sources. The first being an item where it says Black Knight, total tier suppression, 10.8%. This scales with your level of item. Uh, you can get it on the two-piece Libra gem set, as you see here, total tier suppression, 10%. And this is additive, and then at the end, you multiply it. So right now, we have 10 from the gems and 10.8 from the chess piece. And then we have another 6% from the Arc Hall. If you don't have the Arc Hall yet, don't worry. Uh, one day it'll come around and you'll get it and you'll have even more tier suppression. So with the current math right now, we have 26 something percent. For the sake of this video, we're calling it 25%. 25%. Now, for every level of tier that my troop is higher than my opponents, I do bonus damage and take 25% per level less. If I have a four tier advantage, then I would multiply four times my total tier suppression, which is over 25%, and I would get over 100%. So when they do damage, I will essentially take zero. If my tier suppression was 90%, I would still take 10% damage. But it's substantially less and still should always be used. What I mean by tier is this is a tier three troop. See how it says bomber T3? This is a tier two. This is a tier one, and so on and so forth. Conquerors are tier seven. In the replay I'm about to show you, I'm going to be attacking a monster that has tier 3, and I'm going to be attacking it with tier 7. So you can see here, it says scouting report of this 10 monster. He has 10, or he has tier 3 chop sores in the back, tier 3 ham sores in the back, or in the front, and uh, I will be attacking with tier 7. Tier 7 minus tier 3 is 4. 4 multiplied by my total tier suppression, 25% or higher is over 100%. So when they attack me, I will take zero damage. When I attack them, I will do bonus damage, substantial bonus damage. It's more than 200%. We don't know the exact math, but it's very good and should always be used whenever you have an advantage in tier. So here we go with the replay. We'll be taking Raiden out for a spin. We have one troop in the front, and this is a very effective uh, strategy for risking very little amounts of troops and attacking the opponent, um, you know, and, and wiping them off tiles or attacking during kill event or whenever you see a, a tile you could take advantage of with this setup. So what we're going to see here is the opponents are going to attack our slot number one. Not okay, all the triggers. Okay, right here. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. And it's going to be a guaranteed hit and it's going to do zero damage. Now that did zero damage because my tier suppression is over 100% and it's a guaranteed hit skill. However, uh, some skills ignore tier suppression, but that's for another video later on. So that's tier suppression. I hope that helps further your understanding of the mechanic and of the game. And if this is your first Melt video, uh, hit the subscribe button below. We have over 2,000 members in our Ark of War community on the Line Chat and the WeChat applications, a social app where you can interact with your guildmates and your server mates and people you meet in Galactic Battle and the whole inner server of this community. Uh, no matter how much of a beginner or advanced you are, you are welcome to join us. We look forward to hearing from you. And thanks for watching.